As I often do at these hearings, I first, before I get to my questions, want to uh, commend your Region 8 team, their excellence. We've spoken about this briefly, and I just want to publicly acknowledge uh, their great work in the Hudson Valley. Now, I'll jump right into it. Um, is the DOT's proposed capital plan that's due on February 15th uh, complete, or uh, to use a phrase that our governor likes to frequently use, substantially complete internally? With regard to, well, the funding uh, is, is the, uh, the actual budget proposal. In terms of the listed. projects identified. The project list has not been identified yet. Uh, are you complete or nearly complete? We're two weeks away from the deadline. We're working on it. All due respect, that's not my question. Um, I suspect you're not going to wake up on February 14th and say, oh, we've got something due tomorrow, let's get to work on it. Presumably you have some sense of a framework, at least, uh, that you're working towards completion at this point two weeks out. Yes, but it's not complete. Okay. Um, is Route 17 construction money included uh, in what sounds like at least the development stages of your internal capital program due in two weeks? So I would say, um, Senator, uh, we had the chance to talk in your office, and I know you're very passionate about this program, and we've had a, a good amount of discourse. Um, as the as the legislature, the executive has put forward uh, the budget as it, uh, you know, a very aggressive uh, budget proposal. I understand if all that. My time is very limited. If you if can, if there's additional, uh, you know, uh, opportunity, I would, you know, I think it's it's a good. Uh, engagement to uh, at this point, based on some other answers you've given uh, to, I think, Assemblyman Jacobson, it sounds like there is no intention at this point to include construction funding in the two-year capital program. Right now, the way that this program is set up, we've got a planning and linkage study, which we hope to begin commence this spring, and that is the first step in an overall environmental process. Uh, I don't see how that actually gets us to construction um, over the course of the next two years, given the amount of work that's going to need to be done. Well, with all due respect, we appropriated uh, money that Assemblywoman Gunther and I secured uh, some 21 months ago, $5 million for this linkage study. Uh, can you offer some concise explanation as to why you are still not in contract 21 months later after we passed this appropriation in April, almost two years ago? So NYSDOT has been progressing on this study. We've, uh, we've gone through uh, the designation process, which is the legally prescribed process for us to when did that start? commence this work. When did the designation the process start? Dates. Certainly it doesn't take 21 months to start a designation process. The designation process is underway, and the study is due to commence uh, in April. So to be clear, this is the rationale you're using as to not include construction funding in the two-year capital program, is that the linkage study that you sat on for 21 months isn't complete yet. Is so that accurate? It is the first step in the larger environmental process that actually has to happen. As you know, there's a consent, there's a con, uh, co uh, series of steps that have to be taken. I understand all that. I just don't understand why it's taken 21 months. Now, I have been told, as have other stakeholders, that the linkage study would not need to be complete in order to allocate construction money in the out years of a capital program. This is a two-year capital program. I don't know it's, why it's five years, but let's say it's even two years. In the... RFP that was put out, you have a consultant start date for the linkage study of October 1st, 2019, which obviously is already in the rearview mirror. We're three months behind even that very late start. The consultant <coughs> completion date is March 31st, 2021, which is the start of the second year of the two-year capital program. So I am trying very hard to rationalize why we cannot put construction money into year two of the two-year capital program, given that even if you started the linkage study today or in the very near future, it's not going to take up the entire two years of the capital program. So the timeline uh, for the study uh, through construction for this corridor, uh, I, would, I would liken it to something like the I-81 uh, project, where it is a significant project. It takes time. Um, but that said, you also want to make sure that as you develop a path forward towards construction, you want to be mindful of the fact that the environmental process is a federal process. It's la laid out in the... Uh, I, I would NEPA. respectfully, I understand but all that. The reason I want to say this is because at the end of the day, once you start to hit a clock tick, 
on the federal process, you're limited. And once dollars go towards construction, you have a very finite period in which you need to actually construct. I'll just Thank simply you. close. Uh, you know, I, again, I haven't heard any rationale as to why DOT has sat on this for 21 months. And I'll just point out that Senator Schumer actually secured the first study money for Route 17's expansion in 2005. 2005, 15 years ago. And so here we are 15 years later, and the rationalization for kicking this out of the two-year capital program is we need more time. People locally, the stakeholders here up in Albany for the region are sick and tired of hearing we need more time. As has been noted, virtually every stakeholder, economic development, quality of life groups, municipalities, the entire assembly delegation, the entire Senate delegation is supportive of including construction money in this two-year capital program. If this doesn't happen, there is only one stakeholder who is to blame, and everyone will know it, and it will happen very publicly. And this is not a threat, it's just a fact. If DOT doesn't get on board with this, and you all operate under the auspices of the executive branch, everyone will know why this project is now 15 years later, still not moving forward, and we need more time. Thank you, Chair.